OpenAI has exciting updates regarding its latest text-generating model, GPT-4. The company has opened access to GPT-4 for all existing OpenAI API developers who have a proven track record of successful payments. Additionally, OpenAI plans to extend access to new developers by the end of this month. They are also working on gradually increasing the rate limits based on the availability of compute resources. To ensure stability and readiness, OpenAI is currently providing access to the GPT 3.5 Turbo, DAL-E, and Whisper APIs. The company is actively exploring ways to allow users to fine-tune both GPT-4 and GPT 3.5 Turbo, although this feature will be made available later this year. OpenAI acknowledges that the rapid progress in the field of AI brings about both positive and negative applications. As a responsible AI provider, OpenAI is committed to terminating API access for any obviously harmful use cases such as harassment, spam, radicalization, or astroturfing. However, they also recognize that it's impossible to predict all potential consequences of this technology. That's why they are launching GPT-4 in a private beta phase rather than general availability. OpenAI aims to empower users with tools to better control the content generated by the API. They are also actively researching safety-related aspects of language technology, including analyzing, mitigating, and intervening on harmful bias. OpenAI is dedicated to sharing their findings to enable users and the wider community to build AI systems that have a positive impact on humanity. There are three primary motivations behind our decision to commercialize this technology. Firstly, by monetizing the API, we can generate funds to support our ongoing AI research, safety measures, and policy initiatives. Secondly, the models that power the API are complex and resource-intensive, requiring significant expertise for development and deployment. As a result, running these models can be costly, limiting access primarily to larger companies. We believe that by offering the API, we can make advanced AI systems more accessible to smaller businesses and organizations. Lastly, the API framework enables us to effectively address any misuse or unintended consequences of the technology. Given the unpredictable nature of how our models might be used, releasing them through an API provides a level of control and adaptability. This approach allows us to gradually broaden access over time, as opposed to releasing an open source model where access cannot be easily managed if harmful applications emerge. When evaluating API applications, an important factor we consider is the degree to which an application demonstrates open-ended or constrained behavior in utilizing the generative capabilities of the system. Applications that enable seamless generation of extensive, customizable text through arbitrary prompts are particularly prone to misuse. To ensure the responsible use of the technology, we encourage the implementation of constraints in generative use cases. These constraints can include design choices that involve human involvement in the process, restrictions on end-user access, post-processing of outputs, content filtering, limitations on input, output lengths, active monitoring, and restrictions on the topics addressed. By incorporating these constraints, we aim to promote the safer and more controlled use of the API while mitigating potential risks associated with unrestricted generative capabilities.